Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Welcome back to Game Grumps! <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grumps! We're playing this game, it's fucking Doki Doki Literature Club. Ooh, baby. It's really, uh, it's, it's... It's something else. Much like Monica does to these victims eventually. Uh, really sucking my brains out of my head. <laughs> uh, it's you. But I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. God I'm does. not clearly as- I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, friend Aaron. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you, you don't actually think that, do you? Fred. <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Um, you're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... That's another reason, yeah. Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh... It's really annoying and I hate it. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I have to think about this. <laughs> yes. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort. Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> really Forgot about that. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Oh, I bet you are. <laughs> yeah. It's a new place for me to stink. Sorry, I'm so gassy. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. <laughs> After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. By the way, the club is what I call my dick. <laughs> it's all about the club. <laughs> it's already Sunday! Oh god, where did the time go? I've been standing here this whole time! <laughs> I guess that's what Sayori says when she's spacing out. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wish this game just had Saturday and it's just him watching TV for 24 hours in real time. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. She sent nudes. <laughs> but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Sayori, I'm coming! The house Over. is quiet. <laughs> Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hey, friend Aaron. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. I'm different. There's a <laughs> it's because she told me. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? 58. 59, 60, <laughs> you haven't come over like this in a while, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Sorry I just find out like this. I'm dating Mr. Cow. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> <laughs> Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hey, hey, hey. I don't have anything on my wall. What are you talking about? <laughs> Except that it's like a cal calendar, yeah, it's like a sailing chart, it's like a, a nautical <laughs> chart. All right. <laughs> if you came over more often, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. <laughs> How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you? Oh. Are you supposed to see Yuri today? Damn. Yeah. How'd she find out? Yeah, but what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. How'd you know about that? Oh. Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me, and I was under the desk. 
<laughs> it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan, plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. Cool! There's, there's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. What's over here? <laughs> Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. According to my nautical chart, this is due north by northwest. <laughs> I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, uh, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. Shake, shake, shake. That's no good, friend Aaron. <laughs> hey. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now! Ah, Mr. Cow! <laughs> but this is just my punishment, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Cow! <laughs> Fuck yeah, give me your milk. <laughs> I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. Shut up! <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already, damn it! Until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah! <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, friend Aaron. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Dumb and weird. <laughs> You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, friend Aaron? Guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Oh, damn. I thought you'd <laughs> say I'd love you. <laughs> Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed other than Mr. Cow. <laughs> what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy- oh, Jesus Christ, this is so sad all of a sudden. <laughs> and carry it away by having them spend it on me. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Fred. Fred, <laughs> I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? That bitch! Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Nice, douche. Be yeah, <laughs> because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, friend Aaron. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to, you'd have to waste your effort caring about me instead of doing important things, like decorations with Yuri. <laughs> I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. I'm not having my brain sucked out <laughs> by a robot straw. <laughs> it feels like that. It's almost like it's happened before. <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> For eternity. Maybe I'm depressed because half my brain is missing. <laughs> <laughs> you just see like a little thing of blood like <laughs> down from the top of your head. <laughs> Whoa, what is the stitching on my head? That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Hoping everyone would be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, friend Aaron. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person- God damn. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish! That's all I have- I wish I didn't give this character such a dumb yeah, voice before she started like pouring her heart yeah. out. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. 
because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time. Oh, I my shoulders! <laughs> <laughs> They're so brittle and weak from the brain sucking! <laughs> <laughs> this time I pull her into a tight embrace. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, friend Aaron! Sayori. I don't, I don't care, care if, if you, you feel so. That's you. I don't care if you feel so. You're being so selfish by taking my line. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pendarin. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me! Please don't do this! Friend Aaron! <laughs> hey! Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care! Maybe I should turn the lights on. <laughs> and maybe I should draw me hugging her. How hard would that be? <laughs> yeah, right? If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away, and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me, especially it involves my penis. I'll get mad if you don't. The club. Fred, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, friend Aaron. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Fuck, Sayori. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Cool, hug over! <laughs> Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. Then we are both let go. <laughs> the, fe huh? the festival is tomorrow. Yeah! It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah! How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Yeah! <laughs> it's what I want. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Yeah! Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. To fuck May your <laughs> Maybe I should cancel. <laughs> no, don't! Please don't! If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're psychic! <laughs> at the very least, you want me to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my, to my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. Holy crap. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. That was heavy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely gonna have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Speaking of great time tomorrow, next time on Game Grumps. Yeah. Wow. Next time on Game Grumps. Whew. That was heavy. Good thing this dumb piano loop is here to make us all feel good. <laughs>